Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. The voice of hardcore boxing fans. Because if I don't say it, nobody else will, will they? <laughs> right, the WBC We Be Crooks situation. With Dillian White, the man that's not won a belt above British level, and that were a vacant. Tyson Fury, the champion, the O'Neill champion, and he's got all the belts from a few years back. Wilder and Anthony Joshua, everybody's favourite Dosser weightlifter, all in the mix. Now, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it once. If Tyson Fury gets stripped or vacates or whatever and it ends up Dylan White against Joshua and Joshua's ended up undisputed Joshua will be the most fraudulent paper undisputed champion that's ever been in the sport of boxing for the simple reason he pinched an IBF of Tyson Fury behind the scenes but his promoter worked wonders for him, so well done Eddie Earn. He pinched that, then he fought Vladimir, the, the, they dug the WBA up and the IBO from nowhere. The IBO will piggyback on anybody, won't they, but the WBA. But why didn't Eddie Earn, when he had Otis, upgrade Otis to regular champion from interim? Because they wanted the belt for Joshua, didn't they? And Joshua's now saying, I want the WBC belt, it's the belt I've always wanted. Well, let's back up a little bit to when Joshua won the belt. He was ranked number two at WBC, I believe. Povetkin were number one. And Povetkin weren't going to fight Wilder. So that would have meant that Joshua fought him. Joshua jumped to the IBF. There you go, Joshua jumped to IBF from the WBC rankings so Mr WBC international champion and I want to win an interna I want to win a WBC belt it's the belt I've always wanted it's the best belt in boxing the green belt which is true you jump to IBF to red belt but now you want to jump back in if, if it's uh, Dylan White you're fighting but you don't want to fight Tyson Fury do you hey so I look at it like this the WBC, they just want to get sanction fees in, don't they? They don't want to put that their belt in with other belts. It's always been like that. Tyson's got the clean sweep anyway. He only needs ring, ring magazine belt. Everybody knows who the man is, don't they? Forget all this undisputed rubbish. Everybody knows who the man is. That's Tyson Fury. Now, the WBC, to me, don't look like they're going to make any good fights. They're making Canelo against Yuldrim, is it, or something? Him or Eubank beat. Why not, why not Triple G uh, trilogy? Why not Billy Joe or Callum? Because they don't want hard fights. They just want to be fraudulent to fans. It's a joke. But if Tyson Fury don't fight Joshua... Who cares anyway, because they probably both don't want to risk it anyway, but, but I don't want to hear people keep saying to me, 1,000 days Dillian White has been mandatory. Not true! Dillian White deserves a title shot, Porky! Stop being a hater! How am I a hater? How? How can I be a hater when Dillian White knock back a fight at Wembley in front of 90,000 people for four belts complaining about the, the rematch clause win the fight first and then negotiate a rematch clause starting to cheese me off all this politics and it's all manipulation from sanctioning bodies that want fees and promoters that are greedy and fighters that are unsure about fighting somebody although I'm a bit unsure about him Dillian White don't mention Caballel's name does he? Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois Louis Ortiz, Pulev we don't mention them guys does he? do you know what I mean? we don't mention Del Boy who's got more miles on clock than a Ford Cortina do you know what I mean? it's a shocker he don't mention Usek so, but he mentions Povetkin, 41 year old. Oh my God. But the WBC, we be crooks. You should be ashamed of yourselves. 
All right. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. All right. Don't have nightmares.